Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. My name is David Hanlon, AKA The Laptop Legend. And in today's video, I'm gonna be discussing TSNP, which is down huge today, over 27%. A lot of you guys are probably long-term investors in this stock, so you might not be too aware of what's going on with the day-to-day, -day. Uh, but I think I have some technical analysis that could be very helpful in at least helping you guys, you know, mentally prepare for what could be coming next with this stock. Um, also, there's some big overarching themes of this stock that I think could impact the both the near and the long-term future. So you guys should just keep this stuff in mind if you're planning on investing in this at all. If you find this video helpful, please remember to smash that like button. It really helps out the channel. Subscribe if you haven't already and turn on those post notifications or drop a comment if you have any questions or you know you want me to talk about anything else. Um, and I think that is about it for now. So yeah, let's dive into my computer and we'll talk. All right, guys, here we are at my computer and you can see the chart for TSMP today is pretty darn ugly pretty much down all day long and then had an even bigger sell off right towards the end as it cracked 13. Um, but if we look at the one minute candles, you can see that like pretty much every single day, um, we had a very nice bounce here. You know, you get a sell off right into the market open and then you get a pretty nice bounce with, you know, nothing but green candles for seven in a row. And this was pretty easy to read. I caught it late, but I got in for the break of 16 and I got out here right as it was topping. Um, and you guys could easily make this trade. And for that reason, I think this is the most predictable thing about this stock right now, because in general, it's been pretty choppy the last few days. If we're looking at, uh, at the one month, I mean, there's, there's a pretty wide range in a lot of these days, um, these big wicks you can see, and it's just, it's confusing. It's hard to read the stock and really know what it's going to be doing. Um, but if we look at this one month, actually, you know what, let's move it to three months. I think it makes it a little bit easier. And we draw the support line here. This is what I think we can be expecting here. So um, I personally believe that this could fall all the way down to, you know, even 10. I think it could easily hit 10 tomorrow. And I think you guys should just be prepared for that. You know, if this is, if this is proving that it's dropping, I think you should be ready to get out at the market open um, and then be ready to buy the dips when they happen. And again, this is why I don't like just adding to my position as it goes down because, you know, there were there were people telling me that I shouldn't have sold out on the dips, you know, a couple of days ago, you know, on these dips. I should have held through this dip and, you know, waited for it to come back up. I, get, I just, I'm not sure. So it's just not a good long-term strategy. I guess, I guess that's what I'm, what I'm getting at. Um, all the days like this, you know, it drops big and there's a big bounce and you have this opportunity to make a pretty penny there and then not be stuck holding it, if that makes sense. It drops here right at open and then you get a, a nice bounce. It, I mean, it literally has happened every single day. And I know I sound like a broken record, but I mean, I can zoom in on any single day here. It drops and then it has a really big bounce. And some days the drop is bigger than others and some days the bounce is bigger than others. But you always see this pattern. And I mean, it, it's literally been like seven out of the last 10 days, I think it's done this. Um, and I mean, today wasn't even that great of a bounce, but I mean, you still could have made, I mean, it's pretty obvious when it bounces, bounces normally off a whole number, bounces off 14 here and goes all the way up to above 16. So I mean, two cents a share, if you get 10,000 shares, that's 200 bucks. If you get 100,000 shares, that's 2,000 bucks. And it's not that expensive. Um, so I, I just think it's a very predictable pattern that you guys should be taking advantage of. But again, if we look on the three month chart here, the interesting thing about this is it really went supernova here. And in just a couple of days, you know, once it broke out over this five cent mark here, the next day it opened at five, three, closed at 12. And then the next day it opened at 18 and went all the way up to 24. So because of that, there's a pretty big gap here. And normally stocks, when they have a gap, they fill that gap. And in this case, we got a mini uh, head and shoulders pattern. That's what it looks to me like here. You can see here is the shoulder, the left shoulder, here's the head, and here's the right shoulder, and it looks like it's coming back down. Um, and for those of, you who, those of you guys who don't know, a head and shoulder is a bearish pattern. And normally, once that happens, you know, it, it, it breaks down and it continues down going. So that, that's personally what I'm seeing here when I'm looking at this stock. Now, I could be wrong. This, this could continue to bounce off, but I, I think it's not unheard of that this could continue dropping at least some point, um, you know, and, and test 10. And I would expect there to be a lot of support at 10, but it honestly could crack 10 if there's enough sellers. Um, and I think if that happened, it would see a massive sell-off. But because of that, there would be a great buying opportunity, you know, once it bottoms after that. So if it cracks 10, there's probably a huge panic and it could drop all the way down to, who knows, man, it could drop all the way down to 
I'm trying to do some research here. It could drop all the way down to, you know, four cents. Because there's there's no support between there just because it went up so fast. And that's that's the danger of these stocks that go up so, so fast, especially when you're buying and chasing up here and then you're not cutting your losses, um, which is why I like buying near support and I prefer to do that rather than chasing stocks in general. So in this case, I think you guys just need to be prepared and know that this stock, based on the pattern that I'm seeing here, could easily test 10 in the near future. And if it tests 10 and 10 does not hold, a larger panic is probably gonna happen. But I think long-term for this stock, the prospects look really, really good. And if you remember the video where I talked about the 500 million warrants, um, that is actually a good thing if you look at it from this perspective. Um, if those warrants are for 10 cents, you know, that's the strike price, so they can buy them, you know, buy the stock at 10 cents a share, um, and then they paid whatever price it was for these warrants, you know, if they got 500 million and it cost 50, uh, 50 million, so 500 million warrants for $50 million, that's also 10 cents a warrant. So 10 cents a warrant plus 10 cents strike price. I actually got this math wrong in my previous video, uh, but that, that equals 20 cents. Um, and so no one would invest $50 million into a stock at, you know, effectively 20 cents a share unless they thought that the stock was going to be going up significantly over that in the long-term future. So I think long-term for this stock, we're looking really good. So I think if this stock tanks, you absolutely dip by it because I think it has a very good chance of going way above you know, where it is now long term in the future. But in the short term, I don't think it makes sense to hold through these drops because you know they're, they're very predictable. Um, and that's, I guess, just that's how I feel about it because why hold through something that you know is coming? So if it drops more, if you see it tanking at market open, I would say sell what you have just in case it cracks 10 tomorrow because you never know what's going to happen. If it cracks 10, it's probably going to crack significantly more. And then if it does, that's going to be a great buying opportunity. And I would imagine that we're going to see one of these massive bounces um, like one of these days, you know, where you get a absolutely massive run up. If we can get, you know, something like I'm trying to find where the best one is. I think it's uh, is it this one? Can I change it to five? It's probably not gonna let me change it to five, but I mean, you get a massive run up here from 23 to 31 in half an hour. I mean, that is a crazy bounce. And I think we can definitely see something like that if this cracks 10. So if it cracks 10, I feel sorry for you guys who are holding you know, from the 30s, but that is the danger of this stock. You know, you have to be ready to get out. If you wanna make consistent money when it's kind of choppy, just play that morning play when it tanks and then it bounces and, and there's a, a great dip by there. But otherwise, holding this like short term, medium term is not a good idea in my personal opinion. Um, and just based on, you know, the pattern that the stock has shown. So I think very short term, this stock is probably bearish. I could see it going down. Um, so I, I just, I think you need to be prepared for that. If it spikes it open, it could also go take it out. But uh, I think something that you guys need to consider is the fact that they put out a ton of press releases for the merger and then there was the investor call. But you know, after that, there's not gonna be, I feel like a ton, a ton of updates uh, coming out about this stock at this point. You know, we know that this is a long-term play. Five years from now, this stock will probably be way above where it is now. But at this point, like, they're not gonna be doing that much more. We already saw the timeline. We know that they're gonna be rebranding their uh, their ticker to HMBL in quarter one. We know we're getting the audited financials in quarter two, et cetera. So like we know what's gonna be happening with this company, but in the meantime, on like a day-to-day a -day basis or a weekly basis, all the momentum traders that bought this because it was skyrocketing, they see it just fading and fading and fading, and they're thinking, what am I doing still holding this? I'm gonna sell out if it cracks under X. And if it cracks under X, then it has a huge panic because it went down. But then the people who know the value of the stock are dip buying it and it's going back up. So just because of that, uh, I think you guys need to be need to be prepared for that. So my thoughts, again, be prepared for it to touch 10 or if it, if it breaks under 10 to drop significantly below that. But then be ready to dip buy it because long term, I really, really believe this stock is going up. You know, especially if someone made a $50 million bet uh, that, it, that the price is going to be we we can't say for sure that 20 is what it cost but i mean if the if the if they're in the money like the article says that means that at least it's around 10 cents and uh i mean that's a good sign you know that that's a good sign because 10 cents a share is probably going to be you know the base long term for this so if it cracks under that like I, I definitely think it's gonna go back up. So hopefully this helps you guys. If it does, remember to smash that like button. Subscribe if you haven't already and I will see you guys in the next one. Until then, let's grow better together. Pregunta.
contar Bebé, dime por qué te mientes No puedes esconder todo lo que tú